Good morning, everyone. Um, so, do you have a black box in your team? What does it mean? Um, again, for credibility, my name is Khaled. I'm a dentist in Queensland, um, in Australia. And I have a practice of uh, probably around 10 shares with a team of 40 made up of clinicians, dental assistants, front office team and managers, and hygienists. So, do you have a black box in, in your team? Which means some common errors a lot of practices can do, even small practices, is they have one person, like a practice manager or, a, or, a, or some sort of a manager, and they hold into all the information, which means anything that needs to be, they want to ask something about billing, they want to ask something about infection control, um, how to use a certain machine, how to maintain or service a certain machine, uh, how to answer, respond to a patient, they always go to this one person, and everyone is reliant on that one manager. So they have all the information, they have all the passwords, they have everything that will help the practice to operate. And usually this happens for two reasons. This manager likes the security of feeling important and needed, so that's their way of securing their position. Or um, also it's coming from poor leadership. The owner of the practice doesn't invest in time to extract all this information and make sure all the whole team is equipped to manage those problems on behalf of the manager. So what happens in this situation is, number one, or the risk in that situation, if the manager decides to leave, well, it's a chaos, because the owner has to start everything from scratch and create another person who can hold the black box. Number two, if the manager was on sick leave or something, a medical emergency happens, they can't attend even to a phone call for a week or two, the whole practice can suffer a lot. If the practice manager on a holiday, they will usually be called or emailed all the time asking for questions. So how do you tackle this problem? First, you need to explain to the manager. You need to have a sit down with the manager and explain your vision. Tell them very clearly that I appreciate everything you're doing in this practice, but I want to help me with one thing. One thing is, I want to, everything you're solving in this practice, I want everyone to have access to solve it as well, as if you're not here. It doesn't mean you're not important, it only means that if you're on a holiday, if you're on sick, if you're not available, we can manage everything on your absence. And you will always be needed for, as a leader, you will inspire the whole team, you're leading the whole team, you'll still be needed to uh, manage any um, any, any progress in the business and, and work on new projects with me and how we're gonna expand and grow this business. But everything you do, I want, to, I want it to be written or even recorded in a very clear to understand easy manual and I wanna supervise this with you. And you meet with them every week, look at all their procedures and make sure it's easily accessible. Once it's easily accessible, everyone should be trained on it. Everyone should be trained who to contact if there is something going wrong. They shouldn't be waiting for the manager to tell them, call this technician or call that electrician or call that plumber. Everyone should have access to know exactly what to deal with such a situation. And let the manager deal with things that are very complex, like HR, um, giving feedback to HR, like uh, uh, HR problems or uh, hiring, firing, things that you don't want to rely on the whole team to do, of course. So make sure you eliminate any black box in your business. And if you find this information helpful, please make sure you share it and like it and subscribe so I can provide you with more information.